Hello everyone and welcome to the 63rd episode of the HSBG podcast. I'm your host, Educate Collins. I'm here with my constant co-host Shady Bunny. Shady Bunny, how you doing? Having a great day, Collins. Thank you for asking. How are you? How you doing? I like that one better. All right. I'm you're doing a great, great, great thing. I'm doing better. I um I got my boost COVID booster shot. Uh, like two days ago and yesterday I was kicking my butt couldn't do anything didn't feel like moving but uh yeah apparently everyone's telling the truth it lasted a day now a day has passed I feel significantly better uh so that's great and uh that has been my day not my week though my week has been fine I don't really remember it honestly it's too, this is too close to the last podcast. Like, it's only been like four or five days. I feel like I have no topics, but I'm sure we have things to talk about. But yeah, it, it's been, it's, it feels like I just did this, <laughs> you know? So yeah, we're doing it again. But yeah, that's been my week. My my week has been pretty, uh, pretty similar, I guess. I, uh, minus the booster shot. <laughs> <laughs> I've uh I guess I've been having a bit better time with the meta where before I felt like I hadn't really clicked yet and now I'm definitely feeling some clicks clicks here and there. There was uh, a day I climbed like uh 600 MMR and then like the two days after I lost 300 the following day. <laughs> and like, I was just like, like, 300 each day? Yeah, just, like, uh, yeah, I'm back when I, and I was just like no. <laughs> <laughs> Bob is like, I will give you this. And then he takes it away. I'm just kidding. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, no, I feel that. Like, yes, yesterday, I uh, like I was up the whole day, and then I just have, like, two bad games, and I'm down 150 for the day, and I'm just yeah, like... It's crazy, right? Yeah, uh, dude, but we're talking, like, you know, five hours of grinding and good games, right? And just look at it and be like, yes. Yeah. yeah. Like, nicely played games, and then, like... You two troll, games, you troll for a two day games and you're you're down. Like it's not even that. Like that was the the minus twenty seven from Shutter, right? It was just like insane. Like a, a ghost game and a Shutter, and then you hit the Shutter and it deals twenty seven to you instead of fifteen. You're like, okay, that seems fair. Let's take twenty seven. Uh, anyways, uh, it, it happens. So, but today today was nice and you know just a lot more grease spot forcing and. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> or heavy leaning towards grease spot and, and cool boy. You're a greaser. Yeah, I feel like you kind of have to be uh, right now. It's right, like my, my thought process really is like, okay, our mech's in, and then I really have a good look at my heroes. I'm like, okay, which of these heroes has the highest chance of pulling grease spot? And, and earlier so today, you're, I, you're, I, you're a tier six gamer, you know, that's what I'm hearing. With mech thing, yeah, absolutely. absolutely. <laughs> uh, if there's enough incentives, so I I did a way way less tier six with the removal of Amalgadon because with Amalgadon there was always a reason, right? And especially with Murlocs in Murlocs in Brand Primal Fin pull some Amalgadons, we right get a great get a great board. Now a lot of the time I was looking at my options and be like, hmm, there's not even that much reason to go to six here. Come on, uh, yeah. I mean, <laughs> Now there is, right? Like now with Grease Spot, Dark Case Elder. But it's like I wasn't even like you know, like wasn't so great to like pull some busters or Liza or so. Uh anyways, uh that's probably been, gonna uh, talk more about it for sure. Yeah, yeah. No, I, I picked an Elise earlier today. Oh, did uh, you? I, wow, okay. Yeah, I, I mean, I, I've picked the least before, right? But okay. I picked the least specifically because mechs were in, um. and I was like, well, I'm just gonna go to six and map. And uh, the game ended up not getting there, I think. I'm actually not sure. It's either first or two and a half. I can't remember. It's some. It's a bit of a blur. But the um, I, I did triple into a six and then map into another six. So that was that was pretty much the the setup. Um, so so that heavily influenced my my hero decision because like okay, mixer and I'm just gonna try for the six drop. And if I'd had green, if I had hit grease spot on one of those two tries, then. The game is, you know, it's not necessarily easier. over, but yeah, you're very you're likely, yeah. very likely the top two from that point. Yeah. That's fair. Because I earlier today I had a top two, and uh, I had two grease spots, and I lost to Arena who golden grease spot earlier than I did. 
Who would, who would have guessed? Dumb. Yeah. Really dumb, right? And I looked at his board. And I'm like, oh, he might have a grease clutch. Uh, or like, I looked at the prediction, right? Like, I looked at like Mech and then the uh, tier five one triple and you start being like, oh, I hope they didn't hit grease spot. <laughs> and I, you see a golden grease spot, you're like, well, that's going to be really hard to beat. Okay. Uh, anyways, that's, uh, that's my extended weekly uh, overview. Yeah. Fair, fair, <laughs> fair, fair. fair. Uh, da, 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 da. first thing we were talking about, there's not that many things to talk about, to be fair. Uh, but, uh, Lobby Legends number four is this weekend. So I think it's tomorrow and yeah, July 9th and 10th. So tomorrow yep. and the day after. Uh, so that's going to be fun. I'm not, uh, in it, uh. For the, some of the people that don't like my casting or whatever, you know, I'm not in it, but I believe Nina and Raven are casting. I think. I know Nina's casting. <laughs> I'm sorry, Raven. If I'm, I think it's Raven, I, 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 I'm pretty sure. That should be fun. They're good. They're good casters, so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, that that'll be a that'll be a ton of fun. Um, but what are we doing, Collins? We're also gonna cast, hopefully, um, cause it, it starts at a pretty good time for both of us, I think, uh, where it, it's, it should be pretty clean for us to cast and not like, and not be awkward, like near perfect, I think timing, I think if I'm going to be honest. It's afternoon for, for me, morning yeah, for you. Yeah, so. morning for me. Yeah. Like an hour and a half before this started, you know, so. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's doable. No, yeah. yeah, so um, it should be okay. I don't know. Well, I mean, that's up to Shady, right? Like, you know, maybe if it's like two or something, you're like, ah, I want to go. Or or not two, but like, like four hours in, I mean, you might be like, yeah. Yeah, we'll have, yeah, yeah, we'll have to see how long it takes. Yeah. But yeah, I'll, I'll be able to move the schedule around a little bit. Of course, the second day with the elimination. For yeah, those, yeah, that know. might not be. Yeah, the check format. Yeah, so that, yeah, you never know. Some point. Well, I'll, I'll try to at least do the first day completely. Yeah, yeah, that, that sounds sweet. So if you do like that, I remember last time we did it, uh, some people were like, ah, I wish I knew. <laughs> but uh, here's what you're warning, I guess. I don't know. Uh, but. I'll try to upload it as well, uh, same day, so it shouldn't be too much of a delay, hopefully. Uh, so we'll see if uh, if I do that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I always promise thing, these things and then I don't do them, so who knows. But um, we can talk about some of the competitors as well. Um, I always think that's kind of interesting, I believe. I split it into two parts, so just kind of some of the players and and one you have satellite, the Pido, uh, XQ and Oliech, Rabu Papusa, Butterfly, Kroto, and Beedr Babbit. So, anyone here jump out to you and what you want to talk about? Anyone's like, oh yeah, I know. Yeah. yeah, I mean, it's so there's there's a lot of names pure, here. That we, go, go yeah. pure bias, it's fine. Like, I think that's that's okay. Yeah, yeah, no, I was gonna say there's a lot of names that we know, but like the the, the two names that really jump out for me are like, oh, XQN and Beater are in, okay, and then Oleg is uh, like a really, really strong EU ladder player, but I just haven't had that many interactions with him. I've had much more interactions with XQN and Beater, and I know they're absolute monsters. Uh, but you know, looking at Oleg, he's got like just two accounts parked. It's insane. That's high. true. So yeah. He's, That's you know, I I just haven't seen much of him, right? But it's like, he's obviously a beast, right? He's yeah. a beast on the current patch, absolutely destroying. Uh, right. Yeah, XQ and XQ and beater, and then you know, I want to see what Oleg does. And, but I mean, everyone deserves to be there, and you know, now Dapido is coming second twice, I think now. So. Yeah, I, I yeah, that I, you have to talk about him, right? I feel like that that's. Is, yeah, that's I mean, unfair. Just not... That fee is too strong, <laughs> too good. Yeah. Like just, just <laughs> let alone being in that <laughs> top eight three times in the span of four level. Well, legends, top sixteen, is... you know, he's not top Sorry, eight okay. yet, you know. So right. you're top, slow down. You know, like top top sixteen, but but still, right? Like you you made it to lobby legends like three times. That is already ridiculous. And then you know, on top of that, he just came in second. 
<laughs> two of the three. And he's we'll overall the best performing player. Yeah, I mean, uh, you kind of have to. Yeah, right? yeah, for honest. sure. Yeah, so. If you came in second in two Lovely Legends. So, so yeah, like Doppy is insanely consistent, at least so far. Uh, but yeah, the, the names I'm really looking at uh, out of these, I, it's it's Beater and XUN. Yeah. I'm really rooting for them. And also Satellite, I think, also needs to be talked. Always at the top of the um the ap leaderboard so just just a very strong player in that that right sometimes goes over to na and starts trolling us you know just because it's fun to do that if you're an ap <laughs> uh so yeah i've played against him a couple of times as well so those are the other two the uh rabbi rabba butterfly and croto or I think it reminds me of crypto dude the, 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 just because the, the y should be a p but dude. i'd say citro and i see the name citro I don't know. Maybe that, he goes by Citro. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. That, I, I'm adding an R for no reason. Uh, yeah. But yeah, Citro. Yeah, that that makes. Thank you. This is why I'm not. Uh, I'm not. I don't ever do the names. Gio is like, don't worry, Collins. I I got you. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, thank you very much. I don't. I don't do this. Collins says it's like I don't do names. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I, I mean, even the names of some of the um, the minions, I just like get wrong sometimes you know or i'll, I'll exchange uh, yeah. them so it's very common i've noticed over, over the years yeah yeah, yeah i'm sure you have you know. <laughs> but yeah. we we have such good sync that it is extremely rare that i don't know which minion you're talking about yeah. even if you you, use, you just completely ignore yeah. what i'm saying and just go for Absolutely. full assum assumptions like oh he must be talking about this <laughs> it's like but the thing is like it's not it's not like you get the name wrong or it's just like straight up the name of a different card right but yeah. i know what you're talking about right? <laughs> So, <laughs> this happened in arena as well. Yeah, we yeah. It was just like straight up a different card, and you know, at the start, I was like, "Do you mean this? Do you mean that?" And I'm like after after a few years, it's just like, "Yeah, it means this." Okay, it's fine. Well, there there there's a strat. <laughs> the, the card has some kind of similarity. If if you ask me about, I'm like, "Oh, you know, they're both four drops, or bo they're both powerful cards in the meta game right now." Blah blah blah. There's always yeah. some type of rationale there. It just doesn't make sense ninety percent of the time, but you know I can explain it away. That's, that's yeah. No, I mean there's there's some logic involved. That's Copium. Uh, <laughs> but uh, there's these aren't the only players. There's also another group of eight as well. Um, Alucard, uh, Kiji Hakase. Uh, I don't know why I have to be the ones pronouncing the names. You know, I feel like that's not fair. Uh, I'll try it. Uh, so yeah, Alucard, Kiji Akase. I yeah. always yeah. That, I there, always, there's yeah. where I stopped. <laughs> this is this is essentially vowels. I like vowels. Let's do more vowels, right? That's what I get from it. So Iosp, Iosp uh, element. Yeah, yeah Iosp. That's what I'd go with. Uh, element Omega, MXJF. Mm -hmm. Hates vowels. Uh, excellent. That's good. Hanimbo, uh, Xunyu, and Kid Five. Uh, anyone in here that jumps out to you this time? So, I mean, we know Alucard, right? A yeah, very, we do. very strong, consistent player. We've played against him. In he always gives me this uh, be the beater high. <laughs> <I'm> like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Throw it in the beater high. Uh, Element is uh, someone I play on ladder a lot, yeah. and it's just very uh, present in the community, I would say, where right? I see him a lot in Twitch chats. And then Honimbo is someone I also just see on ladder all the time, or, or at least used to, right? I used to play against them all the time. Now I might miss him here or there, he probably plays different hours, but very, uh, very strong player. And then once again, like these are all really strong players, but those are the three that I'm uh, familiar with. I'm yeah, Kutu Hakase has been in multiple lobby legends, I think. So mm -hmm. he's pretty, pretty consistent there. And a lot of these players are, these are the Chinese. Uh, players and the Chinese players have been doing really well. Uh, I believe in the last Lobby Legends, there was like all four made it to the finals, right? So only four can be of the 16, right? Only four get into the top 16 and they mm -hmm. all made it. Have all, and then they also, um, they were mostly top four. Like I think they were like top five or something. Like, of, of, well, no, like, no, that's not true, right? Because Waterloo made Waterloo was first and then. Dapi was second, but they were they were they did pretty well. I think they were like all yeah. in the top half or so of the points. So we're we're going to be able to analyze you know play styles and hero preferences over the weekends, but it, I think it might be um, 
quite likely that we see that more uh, tempo oriented, really tournament style where they are going to have strong boards at very, uh, you know, early turns and very consistently, yeah. but maybe not so much. Oh, you know, let's let's go big money here for the six drop and, and try to take the first. Yeah, I, we also don't, or at least I don't know the exact qualification tournament that the Chinese players right. have, right? And maybe that's more uh, suited, like maybe it's more suited for this type of tournament where they they really grind out and pick the people that are like the best of like getting top four and, and, and salvaging games and stuff like that. So I, we don't know, or at least right, yeah, we could ask, cool. but we don't know, actually know. The, at least I don't the, know the, the actual process. Yeah, I, I think very few people know indeed. So that that is a that is a very good point. Uh, you know, like something you could say is it might be more rounds, or there might be a different True, uh, point structure. Right, it could so, be more rounds, so you get the better yeah. players. So. But it's it's very um, it's very possible that it's that it's just a very similar. Another thing is the their um, the qualifying tournament is usually closer to the actual lobby legends tournament, so they play on the patch, right? Whereas yeah. the people that qualified for this. Uh, like the NA EU AP players are qualified, they qualified on a different patch, right? Oh, so the, you, you're talking about the the Chinese players get to play far, like much closer to. Yeah, the, uh, yeah, they they qualified yeah. on this like grease spot patch. Like, how, how they, do you how do you know this? Like, I have inside sources shared you. All okay, right, and sure. I can tell you that uh, even <laughs> before they drew the uh, the brackets, they didn't know what. Chinese players were competing. <laughs> right. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, that's not necessarily like straight up an advantage, but it's more likely that you're going to see people that are comfortable on the patch. Yeah, right? yeah. That doesn't mean that anyone that made it in isn't going to be comfortable, but yeah, that is, uh, huh, that is, that's a big deal. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, so, I mean, yeah. there's a couple of things, right? Like that are yep, yep. given benefits, but like, regardless, I like, that's not an excuse for any of the like, you know. If any, if I Alakai just troll trolls, I'm like, come on, dude, you're you're better than this. Yeah, you know. Yeah, I mean, so I like, all, it, yeah, these, these are all are great players, players yeah. and they've they've had as much time to practice this mm -hmm. patch as the Chinese players. Yeah, yeah, for sure. So it's it's not like oh wow, you know, there's this crazy advantage. It's just like you know, if if somebody hasn't clicked as much with the meta, yeah. They're, you know, they they might, but but all these Chinese players, they it obviously clicked. Right? Yeah, they all, qualify. yeah, they exactly. Yeah, yeah. Oh, they all these four players, like they do know what they're doing on this patch. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So you do you do kind of be have to be on fire, still practicing, right? You like just because you qualify doesn't mean oh yeah, I'm gonna do well. Like the players are also getting strong, getting better, making sure they know what to do in this particular patch. Yep. You can't yeah, like. For not get it <laughs> you know if you qualify <laughs> and then the patch changes and you're like oh no no chroma cookie interactions you can't be like well i'm gonna give up you have to keep like trying to understand what's the strongest compositions for this particular meadow so um that is that is true but it should be fine like they all they're all great players so i'd be surprised if any if any of them struggled i would i wouldn't say this meta is like super super difficult uh, to figure out what the strongest compositions are. Maybe it's kind of difficult if you don't get like a good start or something like that. And you know, like other players have like the grease buster and then you're like, oh, I, I don't have access to that. What what do I do? Right. That might be more difficult, but like generally like the strongest comps aren't the hardest ones to figure out. I think I think the, the no mech, no quill lobbies, though, those are going to be more interesting and well, yeah. maybe not necessarily even more interesting, but we're going to see more we're gonna variety. See more like, oh, a mill has with a Nomi, right? Yeah, like, yeah, it's just yeah. gonna like pop out. You can see Gallywags do do some stuff. Maybe you're gonna see like a no Murloc setup where you get just huge with um, like a Mutinous or just just anything like that. Like so that that's that's gonna be a uh, yeah. Because right now it is it re definitely feels like it's Mex and Quillbors. Those are very very common at the top. Mex and Quillbors, Mex and Quillbors. I don't have a weird. song. When you say Quillbore Mech, for me, a lot of the time, that's more like Tempo Tier yeah, 4. Tier 4, stuff. right, yeah. Yeah, that's that's what I that's what my brain goes to when it's Quillbore Mech. But now it's like, oh, Quillbore Mech, no, I'm playing like... It's crazy like, how metas can change, right? Like, <laughs> Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that's what I'm hearing. Um, 
But yeah, um, should be fun. We will be talking about it tomorrow and the day after. I, I don't think I will be streaming after that because I have to pack, quote unquote. Shady knows the truth. <laughs> 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 I you know, I have to get ready for the trip. And, and, stuff. I, I actually leave sleep. the house at like three AM or something in the morning. Like that's actually that's Okay. Yeah. So. And that's that's you waking up the early day. Yeah, right. Hopefully I wake up, you know. Yeah. I, I have someone that's gonna wake me up if I don't wake up, so hopefully. <laughs> but yeah, uh should be fine and then uh We'll, we'll have some fun afterwards, but yeah. Moving on, we've got da 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 da. Oh yeah, some meta discussions. So there's not too much I would say this week. That's, that's kind of my thought, since we talked about most of the stuff last week. Uh, but my like this is more of a prediction for the lobby legends. What's going to be winning lobbies and stuff like All that? Right, yeah. I would say you know grease spots like kind of good. What are your, what's your thoughts? <laughs> I feel like it's it's not as egregious, right, as when the Naga patch was played and we said like, oh, triple yeah, entrance uh, is yeah, yeah. a good player. I but, agree. you know, we're going to see a triple in degrees, but I'd be like, oh, my God, that's so good. Because you, you could talk about um, six drops being being good, but the 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 insane thing with grease spot is that you do not need to invest any resources after getting it to increase the scaling, you know, other than putting divine shields on the board, but you would have bought units already. You know, if we're talking, you tripled into a Kali, you still need to buy battle cries. You tripled into a Tissa, you need to buy spellcraft. You triple into just God knows what, right? Like anything that requires you to play cards, you still have to work for it to, to utilize the and scaling. And, and this is the, you know, issue when passive scaling is really strong is if you are going to scale like crazy, um, without having to invest any gold, that gold can then be used to level. You can be on six very, very early. Then on six, it snowballs because then the second grease spot joins the groove and then, you know, like your scaling just doubled and you get to roll for macro, more resets, you know, like maybe just make a golden buster on the side or whatever to reset your deflecto bots. So, yeah, it's some, some very, very silly, silly things happen when you get a very early grease spot, especially when there's like already a deflecto on the board or something like that. Yeah, it's a bit good. Like it, 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 it's a, it's a. I, I don't even know. It's like annoying because when you have it, it. I don't feel like I'm doing that much. I'm just like, oh, I have a grief. Oh, they can't counter this. All right, I would uh, like. I, I, I will say another thing. Sorry, like the uh, taunted mackerel is actually just so insane now because insanely yes, scaling. Get- yeah. Yeah, like, yes, you can get Leroy, right? But you taunt one or two things, right? So if they have the Leroy early, then whatever, you got screwed. Uh, but I mean, it's still, they only just killed one Divine Shield minion. It's not like you're entirely dead, right? It's like, okay, I lost yeah, all Yeah, yeah, before, one. like, the problem was your mecha was your only unit. Like, you're all in, right? Yeah. Now. Yeah. Now but it's now, like, I just exactly. win, and then if you don't have the Leroy you miss, you get absolutely blasted. <laughs> but the next person gets punished for that because this is what happens, right? Like your mecro, re- let's say your mecro gets hit four times, which is not outrageous at all, right? No, if the front not. is all divine shields and you don't have Wind Fury, you don't have Blaster, you don't have um, the Leroy, then yes, the mecro getting hit four times is extremely realistic. We're talking plus 12 damage. Right, plus twelve damage on a divine shield. It's not that it's the health as well. Like, yeah, and health, and health, of course. Right. So then, sometimes it survives a hit, and you're like, oh, you know, like, because sometimes you're like, ah, oh, don't hit the macro now. The divine shield is about to pop. It's like, oh, it didn't die. Cool. Okay, never mind. We're good. Yeah. So yeah, that's true. It also gains health. So that would be plus twelve plus eight for doing nothing. Right. And then that's just on the macro. Right. Everything in the that's front. That's one grease. Still plus that's the bench shield. That's one grease. Yeah. And that's one grease. Yeah, now you add a golden yeah, yeah, grease or yeah. double grease. And then, you know, we're talking 24 16. Yeah. I, I had this uh, game I'm where I had, I had golden <laughs> grease and another grease. And uh, I really hey, did. Are you, are you the Reno that beat me? Like, you also had uh, four grease spots. <laughs> I, I, and I did. I felt like I did nothing this game. Like I was just like doing nothing. <laughs> I just win. No one can touch me. And I was just like, yeah. Like this game didn't feel like anything. I was just just sitting here. 
Yeah. Like Chad was like, you can AFK now. And I was like, I can. I really could. <laughs> it would have been fine. Uh, I probably would have still won the game. And, and that's, uh, it, it's giving me like super early Light Fang vibes. Like like in the beginning of the, yeah. the meta when like people weren't as good. That's the, that's like probably the most important thing. But like also the scaling wasn't as much as it was it is now. If you got like double light fang, you you kind of like top two, like even without doing anything. So it's kind of giving me that same vibe. It's better because it's on a it's on tier six instead of tier five, right? So that, that's a little bit better, but it's still like kind of too strong. I think the scaling is a bit too much. Um, there, uh, it's just like it's too strong for a passive scaling on on units that proc twice. So like with light fang, you're buffing things, but it's with these you're you're guaranteed buffing units with divine shield right divine shield is extremely strong because you get to attack twice so when you're buffing the attack and the health of things that passively attack twice you're going to most likely two for one um unless they have like something similar or 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 not but like most of the time you're going to be having a, at least a minion or two that can two for one and then like even if you, you don't really lose you hard even if you like get lucky you you take like you know eight damage or something and then like you're still going to be stronger than them next turn right because you're scaling and they're not so even if like you fought them again oh look now my minions are bigger maybe we win the fight now so it's just like too free uh with the scaling of, of grease swap uh also it having divine shit is like so so strong as well because it means that it doesn't die early right it's so unlikely that this thing is gonna get sniped I, back in back when it didn't have divine show sometimes your grease spot gets sniped or you had to if you wanted to scale the grease spot itself you had to ignore a module it so then it has it has it has taunt and then it gets it just gets killed but now it doesn't have doesn't have taunt but has a shield it won't get sniped you you're almost reliably getting all the divine shield procs that you want so it's sure. just so consistent and the scaling is so free so just really really strong probably need to nerf some of the um the stack gain like even two plus one is probably be like it's funny right like that's what it was before. i know <laughs> yeah I, I think that people, people were asking like oh we're we gonna see plus two plus two and i said we're probably gonna see plus two plus one yeah, let's be i don't know what was it's gonna do i i'm not super like confident with their balancing at the moment like i would say well, i'm pretty low on it thing but. here is that it's hard to fuck up grease spot in terms of players right so this should be doing really nasty things on the stats across all mmrs yeah right? i know but I don't know. I've, some of their changes recently have been so questionable for me from a from like a a balanced standpoint. So I, I've, I'm, you know, I you I I just want to see what it is and then I'll react. I'm not. So gonna... is that is that the uh, cookie thing or or is there anything that stands out where you're like that's very uh, you know doesn't make you very. I, I it's it started with light spawn. I think that's where you know. Uh, I was that's where like, I had, like was, my doubt when started. Turned into a two five or yeah, when light spawn was a card. No, when it turned into a two five from a four five. Yeah. They that's, gave you the heads up there. I, I, they, I'm. They, they I don't said, know. We can't change it, right? Like we can't properly change. I, it. Well, we're I'm. That, I'm just telling you that for me is where I started my doubts. Like, the know? moment they said we can't change it, it was like, oh, you know, like, like well, I, sorry. I would have rather they did nothing. Like it's it was so a <laughs> slap in the face for me. I, like I absolutely, it was almost like a, a parody, right? It's like a, a April Fool's patch. It was like, don't worry, guys. Light spot is fixed. <laughs> yeah. Then we had it's friend of a friend, now. and I was like, I can't believe this got in. And then they have the cookie, and I was oh, like, uh, Okay, so you do you did preface this very well when you said, okay, from a balance standpoint, indeed, right? Because yeah. we do have to look at the game as a whole. And I think friend of a friend for a game like BGs, overall, it was a good idea. Obviously, it was too much. Okay. And the problem is like, what are their playtesters doing? Like that, that, that was my question. Like, how, <laughs> how do you not try friend of a friend with brand in the buddy method? Like, I, I just like, I can't. Like, that doesn't seem excusable to me. Uh, just, just from like a balance standpoint. Because no, you no. give me two minutes with the car, I'm telling you all the problems. Like, yo, <laughs> like this, this, okay. this, this is wrong. I mean, 
I, I want to. You do have to keep in mind as well that there is a huge player base and the amount of games. But that they're the playtesters. Like I don't. Like who cares about their player base? You yeah, guys are the ones volume. playtesting the cards. In volume as well, right? Like it's the whole. You know, give a a room full of. Do, do they actually players. have to play a game every time they want to play test something? Do they not, not have sure. like a tournament a tournament I room where they can just pick the cards, any card they want, and like do all the combinations to see which what what are in there? Because it, it's weird if they don't have that system for their play testers to be like, oh yeah, here's every card that we in the game. Like, do whatever, see what's broken, right? Like, it, it'd be weird if that's not. Yeah, I, Something I don't they know can exactly do. How, how that would work. So you're talking like more a sandbox. Yeah, mode, yeah. How do you how do you properly test it? Like, like is it know, just like yeah. okay? Here's a sandbox mode. Here's friend of a friend. Okay, play brand, play friend of a friend. So, see how it, it goes. It's not like it's not like there's turns. It's more no, like you, you've got you just go in there and, and do whatever. Roll in the shop and yeah, just do whatever. Turns. Like it just allows you to easily I'm not sure figure out problems. Yeah. I know, but they, they should. <laughs> I mean, maybe it does, right? I want to make it very. I, yeah, very clear. We don't know if it exists. So I'm just saying, like, yeah. it would be It'd helpful be cool. for them. I'd, I'd love to play with that. Just like, just give me hoggers. Just give me hoggers. <laughs> yeah, it it would also help, like, just to practice stuff. Yeah. Like, if if you want to practice, sure. yeah. Um, yeah, yeah. No, imagine how popular that would be. It's like mini games, arcade mini games, where. It's just like you're, you know, you're infinite, right? Like here's a because honestly, the biggest trouble in getting APM pirates is like getting to the point where you're big enough for you. Oh, that would be fun. Where yeah, it's just e- like here's every, the hardest. So, yeah, every all eight players start with like double golden hogger. And yeah, like, but then but then also just like there's more pirates in the pool or whatever, right? Or yeah, know, sure, whatever. You you can like cut out and there's only like three archetypes yeah. or something. Uh, so and then it's like who can yeah, make the uh, biggest like hogger setup? Like, yeah, yeah, and it's like <laughs> you, the, the the game is literally just like make your salty looter one thousand one thousand. Yeah, yeah, and that's the like, game. The game has, that, that, that would actually be that. fun. That's true. <laughs> so mini games like that that would be very popular, I would say, or that would be my instinct. But but yeah, that that's that reminds me a bit of that of that sandbox mode, right? That but we talked about, so. friend of friend is just like a small example. <laughs> <laughs> I was throwing out, you know. There's still other things, uh, even the cookie and the chroma ring. I, I'm surprised that got through. And then like removing the chroma ring, not the cookie. So I that I, I didn't love that either. So I, I, anyways, I'm just like wanting to see what they'll do. Like I'm not I'm not assuming they're gonna make it like a a two one right. Like I would like to see that, but I'm not I'm not super confident about it. Um, but well, I mean, I don't have a crystal ball either. I'm not sure yeah. if, if that's going to be the sweet spot. Yeah, right? me either. Sure. Right. So, so but but I want to see what their like, changes are and then I'll react to it is what I'm yeah. saying. Okay, that's fair. Yeah. I mean, the card does feel really, really good right now. So assuming that not too much else changed, because that can always happen where enough other things change and suddenly grease spots, you know, either gets even better or gets worse, depending on what other people For this do to be well. balanced, you have to buff a ton of cards, wouldn't you? Yeah, no, I'm I'm saying that uh, right now we're saying two two is probably not enough, right? But mm-hmm. like if there's other changes, um, it, it might be. I'm I'm not saying it's going to be right. Cali goes feels so bad. bad, dude. I was playing the scrims in NA, and the the dude yeah. got eight head with head double I, Cali, and I was I, just I, like, I, no, like I felt so bad. Like it's double Cali, <laughs> you shouldn't it, die. Yeah. So so yeah. this is this is the the feeling you had when you were tier six gaming. Cali was actually on your shopping list. Yeah, yeah. You go to six and you really want to hit a Cali, and now I went to six. I rolled an early Cali, and I just said, no. I I, I have it. bought Calis and then like the same so turn much. sold them. Yeah, and I'm yeah. just like, it's, it's, it's after a while, I'm like, huh. Right, well, maybe you know, maybe it's just not right. Like, yeah. I mean, it, <laughs> it feels Cali wrong. Was... It feels wrong. <laughs> like to just like be like, huh? It's just... it's no longer it's it's not a brand meta right now, right? So yeah. you can have brand on your board and you can do some cool stuff with it, but it's not a brand meta. Yeah, Cali used and to also be really good because you go Cali Amalgadon with Dons, yeah. and then you know you keep a brand on your board, and then you play your primal fins, and then your primal yeah, fins. Yeah, yeah. Primal fins give yeah, you more yeah, battle yeah. cries. We. Yeah, right, there's so. actually a lot that disappeared. Yeah. Uh, Seafood Chef was also a yeah. battle Oh, cry. that's true. Yeah. So, oh my god, you could do some really powerful things. Two six. Hey, by the way, uh, Jackie raids. What's up, guys? So you could, yeah, you could definitely see why it's gotten a lot weaker. The Cali. It's not just the Cali. 
it's not just a Kelly. It's like all these supplemental cards for Kelly also got hit. There's no Sifu. There's no Dong. There's no real reason to force it as well, right? Like he, the reward for Kelly is not super high. And Kelly is a weird card where you need to get strong quickly. Otherwise, you get blown out. So kind of sad. But yeah, I, I really used to love that card. And now it feels a bit blah. Especially when things like Grease Spot is just knocking you for 60. It's just like, yeah, well. yeah, so the the to put it in perspective right the two callies you uh you'd have to play more than um let's say three battle cries is slightly better but then everything is not divine shielded mm, and yeah. you have to buy those battle cries you can't roll for cards you want and yeah. if you buy a dragon that's yeah so yeah it's like double cali nadina and then you still lose the double grease spot like you know, yeah, <laughs> it yeah it doesn't even is, matter is way, yeah, for sure. <laughs> it's really really nasty like it you'd have to really have a good board for it already where you know it's like strong amalgam like i had it I had it recently where I played a Cali where I just I had a big uh, bronze warden already with some gem stuff and I had an amalgam and then it's like not necessarily right but and you know if you don't hit the second Cali straight away then you know like it, it's definitely not fast enough so it's very uh, yeah I, I definitely feel you there Cali goes feels sad right now yeah uh, but it's it's so hard to balance as well because they do have Nadina. So then the moment yeah. you make Yeah, the moment Kelly, you make it too strong, then it's broken. Yeah. It's like, oh my well, I mean that's sort of the grease spot experience we have right now. You make something that has access to make their whole board divine shield too strong, it feels very, very oppressive because divine yeah. shield is and now mechs are like super power. playable. Even like even without yeah. like grease, you get a buster and then like you find the grease later, you just plop it in and then like, oh, it's fine. Yeah, like, yeah, 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 absolutely. And and another thing is uh Uther. Just mm -hmm. making your deflector or your mech roll 15, 15, 15 attack, from yeah. So good. Because once again, it, that divine shield is a multiplier where I, you're. I, I feel like we're going I, into a meta discussion now, which is our next topic, right? So, yeah, it's good. We're, we're right, just, let's, let's go. <laughs> it's, a, it's free flow, right? Yeah. But yeah, you're talking about Uther. Uther, I, I do <laughs> think, has like changed the meta of like in a lot of ways where now you don't. You don't get zapped that much. And then you can scale super quickly as well. And then also, like, you can make, like, huge cleaves and things like that. You can you, you can just, like, if you get enough Uthers, you can really do a lot of salvaging in the early game in terms of things that you're looking for. You don't have to rely on, oh, I need a gem. Oh, I need Nagas. Like, no one really does, like, buy a Wrangler and then <laughs> get Naga bosses. <laughs> Put it on your your Baron anymore? Like that? That's too much effort. Gems are like still fine because it's like one card you buy, right? You necrolite something and it's okay. Um, but like the uh, the regular variant is like too much effort for the reward. So usually just looking for an Uther. Like there's a lot of games where I'm just like holding an Uther until I find a Baron and I'm like, okay, here you go, and then it's already like uh, zap proof. It also makes some um, leapers a lot better, right? If your Baron's fifteen fifteen, you can't can't kill that easily um there was some games where like, i think i was watching rdu he had like a golden the opponent had like two zaps and rdu was like you know actually the zap is bad because it'll never attack the baron <laughs> you know what i mean like hey <laughs> it, it always goes into a beast because it's bigger than the uh um, the, the smallest yep. beast so it's yeah, just like it, weird some, sometimes you know you kill like a parrot or you pop the rat early and it's not yeah too yeah bad. that's true but uh yeah so very often against leapers I will want Wind Fury more than the Zap, yeah. Mm -hmm, yeah. just because it's uh, it's more disruptive. Yeah, but the Nagas need to be it, or you need to be playing Elemental. Yeah, yeah. It's it's just... usually it's the the Whirly, the Wind Fury. Yeah. yeah. What's your thoughts on like Trickster comps? I see that a lot when uh, like Mechs yeah, are when Murlocs like are out, right? That's the one. So when Murlocs are out, the the game changes in a way where making a stupid pile of health is suddenly a good idea. <laughs> when when Murlocs are in, making a stupid pile of health is fine as long as it doesn't really cost you that much. So it needs to come extremely natural, right? You can't be 
behind them too. The games where I go trickster and there's murlocs and I'm just like, what am I doing? And then like very early, someone has like three golden, I mean three poison murlocs. I'm like, it's too early, and I take Uh, like 50 years. Yeah, for sure. Come on, man. Yeah, I mean, so especially when we're talking like a Vandar game where you have you know the dragons, the beasts, the the demons, and no murlocs. Yeah, we're, we're talking like an almost infinite pool of health that is somewhat easy to generate. So I'd say that the trickster stuff, if murlocs are in, it can still be okay because you can target your own poison minions, right? You can have seven in the back and then you can make the seven very high health. The issue is if you're against the, um, the very uh, dedicated poison boards, it won't work because you know your macaw won't really trade well, and then your trickster might kill something, might not kill something if it also has a lot of attack or just a lot of health. And then you're already down two units, uh, and then you have a baron on your board, uh, and they might have some divine shield. So it doesn't work against dedicated poison boards, but um, not everyone has that. Yeah. I, I, so so something I've uh, I really keep track of, like when it's it's my lobby, if mechs and beasts are out. I'm not sure if I brought this up already. Poison is a lot better. Yeah, it's okay. it's it's so it's but it's it's not to the point where oh it's just better. It's almost inevitable because I really started thinking about what's in, what's out, what you can play. So there's a few things, right? There's like pirate scam that doesn't really care about poison, and like massive elementals they do care, but they have cleave and they have shield. But then I looked at the rest and I'm just like everything else just gets farmed by like a board of poisons yeah if, if beasts pattern. mechs are out yeah perfect poison will beat a lot of the other comps like maybe yeah. pirates oh. pirates but, could, yeah, like, could do it but. so in that situation if you have decently sized murlocs we're talking things with let's say 25 health right not crazy but not something that's gonna fall over to a blaster and you run your own blaster, baron, selfless, golden selfless at that point, four poisons. I'd say that has like a 95 plus percent chance to win the lobby if you assemble that yeah. in the no beast, no mech lobby, because no coiler, no foe reaper, no hydra, no buster. There's no tokens coming for you. There's no cleave coming for you. Just shield on your poison is insanely strong. And you're playing blaster, you're killing their Leroy's. You're removing their shields from the mantids. You might even kill the mantid if it didn't adapt shield or health because you have your Baron post blaster. So it's, yeah, like that setup for me has really jumped out where I'm going to lean very heavily towards that direction if I'm in a no mech, no beast lobby. And it's it's been extremely consistent for me. Yeah, there are, there are some counter plays, but they're not easy. Like if you want to get like no me set up, like that could actually beat that. But it's like, it's not easy to force that. Like you're not like, you shouldn't go into the games and be like, you know what, no beast, no mechs. We're doing no me's. Let's force that saga. <laughs> <It's>, no. <laughs> it's not really going to go out well for you every time. So the, um, the, it's the a lot easier to just get a, a seven and be like, okay, I'll do that. Yeah, but the, the no me player still needs to be very, very aware of what yeah, to do. True. Because I, I guess I'm, I'm being gonna... spoiled. Like, I'm just assuming, oh, yeah, they know, <laughs> they yeah, know what because... to do. But if you run blaster, like you're moving their shields as well. So the Wind Fury guide does not matter. So it it needs to be like a selfless and cleaves. And we're talking like three cleaves or so on the board, right? To, to even make it somewhat uh, reliable. Or like counter blaster, right? Where we're like, I kill your blaster, it kills selfless, and my blaster it kills your stuff. Uh, so they need to really throw in some cheese, some little tech, because um, you don't really get there if you're just running big elementals and, and some shields. True. Sorry, I was playing with your <laughs> with my mouse. And your face. <laughs> Anyways, uh that that is that is a pretty good point. Um another thing I want to talk about is like strong shell. Like I, I do know that they they shouldn't, first of all, and they, they well it's not they can't, but they I d I don't think they're planning on they, they shouldn't make any changes because Lobby Legends is like tomorrow, right? And, and you know, I've I've complained about, hey, you know, this, why are we making these patches like days before tournaments? Let's not do that. Uh, but I do think like Strong Show has been in a weird space. We kind of talked about the, um, like we miss Argus because you kind of, yeah. you lose a lot of the 
double taunt and then the strong shell buffing and, and some of the other synergies. Um, but yeah, I don't see that many people playing like, with strong shells anymore. Like as I'm during my own games and watching other people games, and people just talk like it feels like strong shell is kind of weird now because it's hard to buff multiple things. You have to buy it. You have to spend more gold essentially, right? You have to buy two of the uh, the one taunters, and there's not a lot of ways to taunt. Besides that one card, there's Houndmaster as well. The, those are like the only two cards that give taunt nowadays, right? So, kind of hard to use strong it, shell in most games. It's, it's a almost bit like just you get it from Nest Matron, and you're like, all right, yeah, I guess yeah. I've got one taunt on the board. Why not? Yeah, sure. Go forth with my clunker and buff the one thing. I've I've <laughs> I've gotten that from Nest Matron and just like played it for gold. It's a gold, yeah. yeah. This doesn't feel good. <laughs> yeah, I do think that that is a bit weird. Necrolite also still with Cookie. Like, I don't think they sh can change the interaction. Like, even though like I, I would say like that interaction would be like worth hot fixing. But the day before a tournament, I'm like, ah, nah, it's fine. Like, <laughs> just like. It's you know it's like Naga Mother. Just let the Naga players do their thing. I, I, but like after the tournament, then change that sucker. But I do think like Necrolite Cookie is still like super stupid uh, and things like that. Yeah, that, that's an interaction where you know we, we talked about it last time as well, right? So the just just to give a short short recap, the the comparison is the Vulgin here i I'd still get because, people asking like wow you can do that every time i do it yeah like, no i mean if you look at the words on the cards good luck figuring out that's how it works i flipped my minion and these gems are not going anywhere right this is uh, like, no I, I i knew it worked like that because when vulgen came out i specifically asked the de designers how come i can swap something with vulgen and then like necrolite the gems away and keep the stats yeah. And, the, and I was like, this is a bug. This is a bug. This shouldn't work. Is what I was. And they were like, no, it is fine. This is okay. This is intended. Yeah, yeah but and, that's, that's a, I wanted to point out that that's a very big difference, right? Because is it though? The, yeah, yeah. So, I mean, this, this is okay, how I Well, for it, me, right? it wasn't. So I, I knew okay. the interaction. But yeah, I, I, I will explain the, the why it's very different uh, for me and why I think it's very counterintuitive that Cookie makes the Blood Gem stats permanent. Okay. So with Vol'jin... You swap the stats from one minion to another. Uh -huh. Yeah. But then the gems are still left on that initial minion. And you can then move those gems with a Necrolite. But isn't wow. that the same with Cookie? No, no. So with Cookie, you first flip the stats. There, and then you. And, and then, then the gems are still there. No, no, yeah, and but then that's, you that's move different. them away. That's, it's the same no, thing. No, 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 that's different. Okay. With Vol'jin, you first move the stats from one unit to another. Yeah. So that's already done. It's a done deal. The stats are moved. Yeah, but the, then, with, with Cookie, you flip the stats, permit, making them a permanent fixture of that minion. Yeah, but, and those, then it's a done deal. Like those, but those gems were not a temporary buff. They became right? permanent when you flip them. No, 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 no. It, that's it, what it, I it's mean. It's just gems like a... are, the gems are not a temporary buff. That's what I'm trying to say. So flips make temporary buffs permanent. A gem is permanent. It's not like I put my gem on there and it's gone next turn. Like it, well, a gem is already it, permanent. It, it is temp. It is temporary until you move it, Shady. That, yeah, until but no, you that, necrolite that, it away. It is a temporary no. buff until you necrolite I, that sucker. I, uh, underst I understand how, you know, you flip with a war leader on the board, you flip with Spellcraft, you flip with Morganus. Yes, that's how Hearthstone work works. It's very, very counterintuitive that by reversing the attack and the health on my unit, somehow I will move Blood Gems later on and it'll be... Um, like, I can move the gems without the stats moving. With Vulcan, it feels way more intuitive where I can move the stats first and then the gems are still on the unit and then I move the gems afterwards. Like yeah. it feels very different to me that somehow flipping it would be like, if you move these gems now, the stats won't move. Well, to That's me, it makes to... sense. You know, it, it, like let's say you have like a 2020 with 10 gems and a 2020 with no gems and you move the 20, you flip those stats to the same. 
right? They're still 2020. But now you can necrolite the 2020 and move the 10 gems into it, make it yeah, a 3030. That, that, that is nowhere near into it. It's the same yeah. thing to me. Like, <laughs> oh, God damn. Like, like, the reason why it feels like the same thing is that the outcome is very similar. But sure. The, process, the reason that, why it feels like the same thing is because I asked them. Uh, a while back, if this was not a bug, and they said, was, was the question related to reversing the attack in the hell? No, the, the the question was related to how come I we could. I mean, it's on Twitter. I, I asked them something. Yeah, yeah, okay. Either either way, it feels very very. This, this was years ago, Shady. <laughs> <laughs> when Volgen got released, uh, I don't remember it, anymore. It feels very, very counterintuitive. I'll put it that way. That um, that it works this way, and and even if it's entirely within the game. To, mechanics, to be fair, I don't agree with it. I think it's broken. Should be changed. Yeah, but no, no, I'm no, saying I like I, I understood it, but I just don't yeah, like you it. you you were not surprised that that's how it worked. Yeah, that's yeah, what you're saying. yeah. Um, so I, I do think, for the sake of just balance and overall. It not being a so Con I mean, fiesta, such, I hear you. Absolutely. I, you took the word <laughs> straight out of my mouth. I was like, will I say clown fiesta? I was like, yes. Like, so the moment you have, let's say, a very, very achievable number is like 80 gems on one unit later in the game, right? If you've been playing Quillbore, that is not hard, right? If we're talking, yeah. you've had multiple Charlies or, 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 or Dark Gazes. Dark Gaze, yeah. So is rolling two cards should that be rewarded with gaining plus 80, 80, plus 80, 80. stats I know. wherever it's you so want stupid. it like, <laughs> like yeah <laughs> the, 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 that totally it, it's too free shop. it's too, you can yeah. put it on anything there's no drawbacks it's like what is this like i oh here's did you find a hydra oh you can make that 100 attack hydra instantly yeah. like what is that like, you know what that feels like like gallywig's buddy right like, yeah, oh, yeah. <laughs> You could argue it's better than a Gallywix buddy. Like, what the hell? Yeah, Ga Gallywix buddy is easier because you're Gallywix, you're sure, already infinite. Sure, I mean, you, but that's you, one hero. Brand, that, right? That's legit and, one hero in the game of 80. Yeah, yeah but I mean, also during the buddy meta, right? So that sure. was huge, huge power creep. The the, the thing with the, with the cookie necro is that you need to be in that position where you have that big gem stack. So that's not going to be that many games. But, you know, if you're... If you're but a player the good that, players force well, it. That's the they annoying. Will lean yeah, very heavily, right? Like right now, I'm just like, get me gems, get me grease spot, right? Yeah. That's what I'm trying to do. Every game, Mech Quillbar in, I'm either gonna have a hero that's very good at pulling a six drop, or yeah. I'm gonna go three on three and I'm gonna try to cheese some gems. That's essentially what I'll be doing. So it's very, um, yeah, it's not healthy for the highest levels. I, I think it's it's once again one of those moments where on lower MMR it probably doesn't happen frequent enough for it to be a real issue and it's like this they're not going to have as big of a gem stack as well because it's not like they're really planning oh, and they keep track. so it's not going to be as egregious and it's more like this oh that was so cool kind of moment right where they do it so i can see a reasoning where they say well but yeah i mean for high level play it's it's very silly like i, I remember playing a game against jackie where in one turn I turned my Faux Reaper in like 200 plus attack, and I just added a new Deflecto bot to my board, which pawned as a 150 damage attack minion. Like, I had so many gems that I bought a Deflecto from the shop and I had 150 attack. And you, none of the units I swapped from lost attack, by the way, because I cookied. You know what you reminded me of? The last Lobby Legend, I was like, ah, yes, Shutterwalk High Road. They're going to nerf it now. <laughs> <laughs> And I yeah. just realized that no, nope, it didn't. Like didn't before, get before we go on like a rant here, I do want to say, overall, I'm very pleased with the state of the game right now compared to where we've been. Sure. Lag is fixed. Sure. It's an okay, interesting meta, true. even though you know it's like push grease spot, push quillbore. I love playing as well. Like I do want to really stress that because it's so easy. So just look at, okay, that's fixed. What's the next thing we can start complaining about? Because, you know, that, that's just, you know, like you, we play all day or at least very frequently. Are we not supposed to complain? Oh, the yeah, game no, is I mean, perfect. You know. I think it's good to have, um, like we have a voice where we say, okay, you know, these are the, the things that bother us and probably a lot of the other players as well. Let's talk about it. Let's get a bit of that, you know, frustration out of our collective systems. Uh, but I definitely don't want to turn it into, oh my God, this game, I can't believe I'm doing all these things wrong because I, I, I'm having a ton of fun playing right now. Yeah, so that they, means they're doing something right. They do, yeah. they do like um, hearing like things that do bother us, right? Because it lets them 
know yeah, what to focus absolutely. on. Uh, it's yeah. just a lot of times it's how you present your you know complaints, quote unquote. You know? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you want to be yeah. reasonable. Yeah, right? yeah I appreciate it. Yeah. Yeah. Right, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not. Let's talk Shutterock. God damn it. Why is Ali Cat uh, still in the game when Shutterock's a hero? Uh, uh, to me, you know, well, I mean, oh. it's, it, the, it, it is, I would say it is weird, like, not balancing for competitive players. Like, that. that's still, like, kind of. Well, I mean, irksome. there is balance, and then there's things that are just absolutely batshit, crazy, dumb, should never exist. I'm still semi convinced that damage cap was introduced under pressure of shutter oh, shutter yeah you know? i agree i think as well yeah so if a hero that stupid is capable of making you think maybe people shouldn't be able to take more than 15 damage in one turn when everyone's still alive if that happens and that hero then continues to exist you nerf it. You try to nerf it a little bit more. People are still really squiggling. To be, to be fair, they did nerf it like to yeah, two yeah, to two mana. They nerfed and it to two mana. And then they're and like, you know people. what? That's not that's fine. That's too weak now. Like what? <laughs> like, yeah, yeah, but I mean, the, the high level players didn't give a shit. They kept shutter walking, yeah. right? Like I kept shutter walking. A lot of people kept shutter walking. Then the the issue, well, issue here is that we had the buddy meta, and then it was yeah. like it was still really nasty. We talked about yeah, it again, yeah, right? Yeah. So I'm not going to go in depth, but the, it was oh my God, a bunch of six drops. To, yeah, yeah. yeah. So it's harder to play and you spiked usually with five drops. So it's mm -hmm. not as like insane where like, oh, two of this is an attender. Like this happens so frequently where you see a shutter on board and they just have 10 at this and it's just like, you're not supposed to have this on turn six. Like it's turn six. <laughs> like, why do you have three six drops on turn six? Like, it's turn six. Only, only like, three no. six shots, Shady. Wow, you've been slacking. Right yeah, no, I mean, so let, let's let's not be too crazy here. I would say that a standard shutterball game okay, is sure. you get two six drops on turn six. I, so, I've, I've seen five. Yeah, you can do, of course. Like, yeah. if, if you can get six drops from like the golden swabby, from the golden shelly, from just extra cats, like. You know the sky is the limit if you keep rolling good battle cries. You could even throw away one of the discoveries to like play. Oh, dude, did you? Turn. Oh man, the lobby legends where the guy just like whiffed his turn, like didn't fully play all of all, all the triples, and then the turn after he got everything that he still won. <laughs> it was just like <laughs> he was just like like yeah, you know, like kind of rough, but like it's still so broken that you could just like mess up and like just like still win the game very easily. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So it's 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 just one of those things that stands out so much that I don't think it's really talking about, you know, should we balance for the top level or not? It's like, okay, there's balance, but then there's there's a hero that you you go up against and you've extremely likely you can say, I am going to take 15 here. Like I think that's just really bad for the game where you say, Oh, it's Shutter Rock. Well, that's just that's just the thing that happens. We just gotta accept it. I'm fighting the Shutter Rock right now. I have 15 less health. I was like, no, that's so dumb. Like, it's so dumb that we just sit there and say, well, that's just how it is. 15 less health for me. Like, just almost without fail, right? Like, yeah, can you not roll cats? Of course, right? Like, any hero can fail, but the consistency with which Shutterwalk will deal 15 damage to you, turn six and onwards, is so high. And then if you are unlucky enough, right? Like, I was earlier, like yesterday where again, there's an early ghost there is no cap and that took 27. like what was it turn seven or something yeah. it's like okay 27 it is in the early game right deserves it, to take 20. it's definitely a bit much if um if the shutter walk knows what they're doing and there's like you, there's something unlucky in the game like an early ghost or you fight them as soon as a ghost dies like i've definitely had some games where and it's not like Shutterwalk's the only hero in the game that can high roll, right? So, like, if you fight two of them in a row, that's 30 damage. And there's, like, yeah. not much you can do about it. Uh, and and that, that, also, that also feels really bad. Like, I've, I've had a couple of games like that. It's not that there's an early ghost, but I fight two high, two high rollers. One of them yeah. is a Shutterwalk, Maiev, right? right? Like, Shutter yeah. on six. Nine, yeah, Maev, Bear Off. There was this Bear Off player that hit Atissa. Uh, Atissa Tender, uh, uh, right. like super early, like turn turn six or something. Right. He must have won right. every right. single bet with Atissa. So many coins, and he just has like 
2020 is on like turn six. And I was just like, what the? And, to, and the into shutter walk and I'm dead. And I just like, <laughs> like there's, there was nothing I could do. Like, I was just like, come on, man. Come on. Like, you, know, you got to give me something. Yeah. But yeah, those games do happen for sure. Yeah. So I just, you know, pointing out how it's uh, just silly that that interaction still happens. I just thought that, you know, with how they removed, um, you know, like they were doing a minion rework. I was so convinced Alley Cat was going to go. Like, I understand. Like, I, I love mean, it. I love Ass- assuming Blizzard's going to, you know, make some. Yeah, well, but I mean, they literally killed off Tidehunter. So I was like, OK, I get it. Right. You, you guys see what the bullshit is that you can do. And I. I love doing token shenanigans. Like I'll be the first one to admit that I love Cadgar. I love doing stuff with, you know, Janice. Just these days, you don't do it very often anymore. Uh, but every so often, I'll just be in that spot where it's like, oh god, I actually have brand Cadgar and Alley Cats. Cool, I can do this. I can still do this, and I, it brings me a lot of joy. And I'm gonna be honest about it. I love doing that. But I will happily sacrifice that if that means that it's not, you know, every. How many games a day I get a shutter walk when beasts are in, and then I get the matchup? It's it's ridiculous. So if if I have to sacrifice the very rare occasion where I can pop off with Brand Cadgar and do some cool stuff to just not have Alley Cat ruin the, you know, or or take Shutter out of the rotation or, or change the hero power or whatever. But, but, but Shutter has a skin shady. Yeah, that's why I said you can't take it out. Of what? what? It's, no, I hate it. I hate it. What do you mean that's okay? Yeah, like, yeah. what do you like? Oh yeah, we can't remove any heroes because yeah, hero power to five mana. Boom! Here you go. Can't Shut delete a hero because Shudder has a skin. <laughs> like what? No. What yeah. do you mean? Like that you're gonna have to make that choice at some point where you create a hero that's just not okay, and you just be like, yeah, yeah I can't nerf remove it. it. Just nerf it. Just nerf it on on. Yeah, but that's not. I don't want to be having so many heroes that are just like unplayable uh, at the highest level like if you just like oh nerf it on play it's like uh like that's less yeah, fun think, for me than... yeah but I, yeah but i mean what's what's more or less fun for you isn't the like the the most important goal right yes it is. still a... what for me it is like what do you mean yeah no but i mean for the people that design uh, the balance of the game so uh they do have constraints absolutely right and and it's very very fair from a company's point of view to say, well, we've sold you a skin. Yeah, yeah, I know. We talked about it Not last week. I know, now, I know. But, it, but I, it, it I know. I just, come on. Like, it's, you make yeah. it so hard for yourself with that argument to, to make any I like, know. It's, reasonable it's, balance changes with that constraint. Absolutely. Like, what, what, what are you going to do? Like, you just like make sure every hero you ever build ever, for, the, for the rest of the, your, the life of Battlegrounds is balanced and you can never remove any heroes, period. Like, what yeah, is... I mean, what Wait, is this? Okay, so th- this is this is too much, though, right? Because we've seen heroes that were too weak or too good, and we've seen them just changed, and then suddenly they're they're either fine now or or strong. Like it, there's not that many example. heroes of, of that. Like you can probably count on your fingers how many they've done, right? Yeah, yeah. But I'm saying you're saying that every single hero that you ever release has to be perfectly balanced. And I'm saying that's not true. You At some point. Them. You know, like, I, well, I mean, but like, you don't want to leave an unbalanced hero for like four months before you like make a change to make it better. And they do that yeah. a lot. I mean, I'm, I'm sure that if they uh, could, I, I want this, obviously. Do I want this? Yes. Would I like to get like all the garbage heroes? Like, just yes, can, delete like, 20 yeah. heroes, please. Get like, them out. Yeah. I don't want, I don't want to have two choices every so often. I don't want to have one choice. I don't want to have zero choices every so often. Right. So, Yes. From a pure selfish point of view, of course, delete all the shit heroes, you know, remove Shutter Walk, blah, 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 blah. Just if I could just like tailor the game, like make it you, as fun you, for me as uh, possible. You know yes. something? You yeah. know something? When they released Cosmetics, I was just like, oh, yeah, this is great. You know, it's good for the economy and everything. <laughs> and now here I am with the repercussions of them adding Cosmetics. If I knew that they were going to be telling me, hey, you know what? Now that we do this, we can't really balance as well as we like to because people bought the skins. You know, If I knew that was going to be the consequence, I'd be like, Can I, do I actually want Cosmetics? Like, I would actually have to sit back and reevaluate it because I didn't know. The, the, the alternative is that they don't make enough money on the game? I know, mode, and obviously, really obviously, support, obviously right? yeah. Uh, yeah the, but I'm, I'm just case. saying, like, it's yeah, it's not. It wasn't. Too, it yeah. wasn't the pure plus I was promised. Apparently, yeah, yeah, yeah. 
I it's was like, a this bit is a package scammed. deal, huh? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I'm a bit scammed on this, uh, so yeah. Oh, sure, sure. something. It's, I made a new topic while we were discussing this one. Yeah, something came into my mind, and I uh, okay. I, I, okay. Is, isn't that cool? Like, oh, I could. I like it. Spur of the moment, Collins. Here we the go. the fly, you know, kind of. Cool. We might come back to this topic, maybe depending. But I did yeah. think um, this was something to talk about. Sunglares made a post on Twitter about. A lobby legend hot take give a few invites to popular streamers, and there's actually a lot of discussion about this particular take in terms of like interest on, on lobby legends and like having streamers play in lobby legends being invited and stuff like that. Generally, um, you know, I wanted to know what was your topic on this, and then kind of some of the have you switched of the because I'm, I'm just watching on the stream yeah uh, i switched i mean it's just it's just okay. a twitter post like, let me uh it's just a twitter sure. post it's not yeah but i mean it's good to get the uh, context and stuff okay. so like, the you overall... were nowhere okay i see what you say yeah um it's very i mean for lobby legends why uh so i mean the why is we want more visibility we want more interest i guess from the community yeah stuff like that um i would i i do not have the numbers in front of me so that i think that is yeah, part of that discussion of course you would have to see okay how was the first one how was the to second be fair one? um lobby legends is usually the lobby legend days are usually the most uh watched days for hearthstone period like in in, yeah. in recent like months like every so we, time we, yeah like... we'd have to check it but i mean from that my instinct is like god no please right this is a very very cool event people <laughs> that really deserve it so yeah. wise because okay so when i when i think back on the history of a lot of hearthstone tournaments a yeah. lot of them was yeah. invite Invites, invite, yeah. invite 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 and it was always this question like yeah i mean they're good they're obviously good but what would happen right if we just open it up right anyone could play in qualifiers and what do we have right now anyone can play ladder like literally just you know you play your top 16 it doesn't matter right it just doesn't matter you just you get top 16 you get to play in the qualifier you reach the top 12 in the qualifier you're in that's it doesn't matter like are you most popular streamer ever you've never streamed a day in your life like it doesn't matter and i think that that is really cool so i do like invitationals as well of course because that's great for viewership and people come with their streamer and you know, I play in invitationals like from time to time, and it's super fun with my community, right? They're like gonna be rooting and it's cool. We're playing other streamers, we're playing people we know, it's it's super fun. So they can coexist, but I think the lobby legends uh, circuit or um however you call that, right? The 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 track that we're on, I, I love it right now, where we just like anyone can play. And even though you know you might have the quote unquote no names or people obviously extremely talented players but players that just haven't had the exposure uh, to be recognized by a lot of the the viewers like that's that's a way for them to get that exposure as well right so i i yeah my instinct is no keep it entirely <laughs> qualification only uh, i'm i'm 100 with you shady um there's also some um things like oh maybe top four or things like that this there, there was also more discussion like a Discord server about this in, in particular. Um, I I'm genuinely with you, right? I I think I like the system as is. I I I thought it would be harder initially, right? I thought it was like top four, like you know, it makes it or something like that, right? So top sixteen, I think, is doable if you really you know want to push for it, like um you know. But I I might be biased, right? Like I've made every qualifier <laughs> period, right? So I might be biased. But I, I do think it is possible to get into the qualifiers in there. The popular streamer take, um, it, it there is some merit in like you will have more viewers if the bigger streamers are in, right? Like if you know RDU, XQN, uh, you know those kind of people are in, you will have more viewership. But the viewership is good in itself, right? Like some of the some of the complaints was like you don't know who wins, but. Lobby Legends just started, right? We've had three. The fourth one is next week, right? Over time, you're going to have more names. And you see the same people, right? Like, Dappy has been in there every, pretty much every, fin every um, final, I think. 
right? All three. Yeah. So he, he like that's that's super impressive, right? And you'll you'll start recognizing the names because like the the names don't really change. Like I thought they would change more than they have, if if that makes sense. Like I thought more there would be a more variety of the amount of people that qualify, but it kind of seems like there are like players that are good enough to qualify, like, like, like maybe like 30 players in each server. And then they just cycle, uh, essentially. Um, so it, there's not like this, like subsection of like someone else, like jumping out and like the names changing every, all the time. So over like 10 lobby legends or something, you will recognize all the names pretty much. I, I would imagine just cause like they will, you will see them in, in almost every in, in in multiple tournaments, right? The first, you know, one, two, yeah, you're gonna get different names. The first three, you're gonna get different names. Yeah. Even the fourth one, I think there's a couple of different names. And and like the 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 one thing I think that is like has really good merit here that uh, is kind of promoting the players more, uh, I would say, because uh, there isn't a lot of video content or like blizzard content just like oh these are the players these are something interesting about them like you you see that in grandmasters i i think if you watch grandmasters or if i would like some of the you would have like interviews with the players like they would ask questions and stuff like that and their thoughts on on this situation or you know do you like puppies you know just softball questions like oh i hate puppies they're the bane of my existence every time i <laughs> You know, you know, that kind of like, even if, like, even jokes like that, right? Like, it would just got like, give them more, um, you know, more interest or more uh, life to the players. Cause right now we just kind of like, oh, these are random players, right? We have Dappy and he's a streamer, right? So, like, I, I watch him sometimes. So, I, you know, I kind of understand his personality and things like that. But if, if, if you're not a streamer, you're not really paying attention or you don't like, you have your own favorite streamers and you don't really watch other players for like, you know, learning the game or whatever, like you're not going to know some of these players' personalities. So I do think that aspect could be uh, pursued more where you just kind of give players a voice, give players a life, let them express themselves and kind of that kind of stuff. Uh, sometimes you'll see that with the camera feeds, like that's like something hidden, like, oh, sometimes the players on the camera feeds will do something interesting, or you'll see their facial expressions, like, oh, this guy is he's trolling. <laughs> like a, a yeah. cat's mod by. Yeah, yeah, that, that kind of thing. So that, but it's not, that's not really Blizzard promoted or, or something that's just like, oh, something random. So I, I do think that would probably be the best thing, I, I, or at least for now, uh, to kind of create more life for the players, because you do want to uh, you do want to get to know the players that you're, because th it makes it easier to root for them. It makes them easier to be more um, involved in, the, you know, their success or their failures and stuff like that. So that that is the one thing. But like giving invites to popular streamers, like not for lobby legends. If they wanted to do like semi invitational stuff or or even more invitational stuff, like the Tice tournament, I would say. But that's not Blizzard sponsored, right? Like, you know, like that's Tice kind of working with uh, TwitchCon, right, to, and then Blizzard a little bit, of course, but, you know, uh, working with them to create that tournament, right? And and, and that's cool, right? I mean, it's, it should be a fun tournament, right? It should be really good. Um, but you don't want to be doing that for Lobby Legends, right? You want that to be very competitive, very skilled players. You want to be able to justify, like, yeah, I'm one of the best in the world by winning this tournament, where if you just have in invitationals, like, yeah, it's, kind of hard to make that argument like oh i'm the best streamer maybe <laughs> you know maybe like uh but uh even even then so i did i did think this was something interesting to talk about just kind of um and and we did have some comments from a bar um i believe he said uh well i could find it i guess but well i don't know if i can find it he did say like, oh, they weren't planning on um, doing anything like that, making invites and stuff. And it would, it'd be tough to do because uh, you have to go down from uh, 48 to to 16 or to 12. And if you added like w even one invite, 
going from like 48 to 11 like how do you do that we, right? we pretty much have to take like four spots or so right yeah like, yeah over, right over, yeah over and, and and that would also that would make it so much harder uh for the people that are like trying to make it in right like already going getting into the one of the 12 spots is so is very difficult like if you haven't attempted it right yeah. we we both have right so we know how difficult it is right but getting to, and making that pulling that down from like 12 to 8 and then like four streamers just get in like <laughs> just like no effort <laughs> i'd be a bit mad you know personally uh so i wouldn't wouldn't like to see that but invitationals from time to time are also pretty cool just to get um some viewership there as well right because those tend to also be very very popular so I, I think that the sentiment is indeed well, what you're describing is like you're almost just like embarrassed that you're there right and the other people they they had to go through that well um, i want well, to be fair if i was invited i would be like oh fuck it i mean you take it you <laughs> I don't take know, it every time i don't right? care but, <laughs> but you're but you yeah like i, you I, I see what you're right? saying you did not earn it yeah. like compared to the other people um but yeah it's it, it's also um like you said, there are plenty of uh, opportunities where we have that, right? The invitationals. Like, why? Yeah, why change? Are there the plenty? I, I, there have been less since. Um... Well, compared to Lobby Legends, right? <laughs> so, like, okay, invitations sure, aren't, sure. and it's not always just uh, from Blizzard side, right? Like you said, now there's a Twitch Rivals. We had the Twitch Rivals uh, team uh, tournaments in the past that we've done. Uh, you can have community tournaments where we played in the Kalinas tournament and all that. So. Yeah, I feel like there's enough room for that. W you know, like, would I mind having more tournaments and having some of them invitations? Of course not. It'd be great. You know, more tournaments is better. Uh, but I'm already, like, very, very pleased with the direction the game has taken competitively. Like, yeah, okay, there's always things that can be better, right? Like, we, we could have more rounds in the qualifiers. We could potentially have these, like, huge um you know two day qualification periods where it's you know not necessarily a ladder based system but it's just you know everyone shows up and then uh, maybe that's not necessarily then a lobby legends tour but that is just uh, like a huge uh, you know like a magic like uh, gp or, or whatever you want to call that uh, just you know like 400 people show up or whatever and over the course of a weekend we go down to eight and yeah then, the, you know, like, the, there are there are some cons constraints Pretty much anything involving more money is like a no. <laughs> Just straight up. <laughs> if this costs more to produce, it's like no. You know, and, yeah. and it, uh, basically, I, I've I've been told so. Like that. That's why, like the qualifiers, I would love for that to be broadcast in some way. Uh, fortunately, there are some like community streamers that will broadcast it and, and do it and do do a good job on that. But from like Blizzard standpoint, right? Like it already cost them. A decent chunk just to set yeah, that up, and, and, well, right? uh... yeah, and the pricing and, and all that. So, like, I would love for them to have like, oh, here's the qualifier day, like broadcast it. But it, 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 then you have to add, you have to pay for casters and all that extra stuff, and and yeah. it, it's going to take longer as well, right, and, and and things like that. So that you know, it's pretty much a no. Uh, um, and that that's like the one caveat right like if if, if you could do it for free or, or something then yeah like that's why uh community streamers like are really good for that but um overall like i i'm glad with the lobby legend system right like um and i don't think it's like in, interest is dwindling or anything like that uh you know maybe it's, she herself is not watching it, but I, I've been watching them, um, pretty much all of them, and I, I, and they they all seem pretty popular, uh, usually, and they they're usually the biggest um, days of Hearthstone viewership uh, d during that month or so. Like it's pretty much always the biggest day. So um, I think they're doing a good job. Like the one thing um, is true, like a bar and their team and the team right they have to justify the existence of lobby legends um to the you know the people at at the top the people in the suits like what do we <laughs> you know but um 
I don't know, like, you know, their numbers, right, or, or whether it's it's going well for them or not. And and they, they've been trying stuff. Um, they, they tried to showcase, like, the new finishers and their bundles and all, all that stuff, like, the skins usually uh, during the Lobby Legends to try to promote it. And they're usually, the names of the Lobby Legends, like, are usually similar to the bundles as well. Like, that's something uh we got revealed so it, like they're trying to make it uh trying to showcase the value for the lobby legends to keep it going so uh always glad to see that information that behind the scenes so it's always cool um for that so generally i you know I, i'm i'm happy with lobby legends i haven't played in most of them so that's like maybe my but that's my fault, right? Like, I don't, I'm not blaming Lobby Legends for that. I'm just like, I need to play better. Uh, or get luckier. I, I I think getting luckier will overcome me playing better. Like, that's more of a difference, <laughs> which is funny. Yeah. There's, like, uh, there's like a baseline you need to hit in terms of yeah. not throwing, right? Yeah. And then getting lucky. Then is lucky, better. yeah, it's better. Yeah, yeah. When, once you've, you're good enough, you just like, got oh, Shutter Rock with two alley cats. Okay. In, in the scrim, I lost a, I lost a five percenter to lose i was 91 favorite at five percent to lose and i died and i'm just like like you know like i'm like ah it's 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 lobby legends all over again i was i was so much but i still top for it so and the, yeah so i was kind of like okay it, it, it didn't matter but like i was just like come on game like don't do this to me um uh, but yeah overall you know i wanted to talk about it because we didn't have the too many topics, and I thought it was interesting. Um, just to like cover that a bit, but yeah. Any kind of yeah. we can go back to like meta discussions if we have anything else. Oh, no, I mean, just just to like drive that point home, it is really good to see that from time to time because it's it's very easy, like especially the um, you know like the the switch to the uh, Naga patch, and then saying, "Oh my God, I can't believe we're going to play Lobby Legends on this patch and stuff." When you put it in perspective and you do see the tweet of, hey, you know, I need to be able to justify this, you know, 50 grand of, you know, prize pool that goes and every know, month, costs. every month. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Every single Lobby Legends, 50 grand, right? So you then need to say this 50 grand would not have been spent better on ads or whatever it is to, you know, like market for getting new players or to showcase our new products or this or that. So with that being the case, I guess we'd be like, okay, we'll play with your new cards because that's kind of the point, right? Like we need to showcase the new cards and, and it's fun if it's in a tournament. For the players, it's a, I would love to play on the patch that I qualified on, on the patch that I'm good at, and I would like to showcase my skill, but that is just not as exciting. You know, I've been doing that in standard since forever. Like, hey, new cards, tournament, watch the players make the most out yeah, of like it. That happens mind. so often yeah. in Constructed, right? Like, yeah. even the yeah. recent one, right? They added the, oh, here's 40 health, 40, 40 cards. 40 cards. Some, you know, yeah. Like, like just like a couple of days video. before, oh, the meta there, like, here's a card that could completely change. But are you going to tune into the tournament? Like, hell yeah, right? It's, uh, yeah. I mean, Whereas, oh, I'm the, not it's easy, I think, to be in Twitch chat and be like, Resident Sleeper, more, you know, Leroy Manted Queen Boards, Resident Sleeper. Be like, oh, new cards, Pog. Like, oh my God, the Satissa card is insane. I was like, yeah. So yeah, uh, that that's the point I wanted to drive home. Where it's it's good to see that, right? So I'm very happy on that communication. It's a good reminder to say, okay, we want Lobby Legends to be a thing. We absolutely do. Yeah. So yeah, if it means you know, we'll play with some new cards. I mean, I, it's easy for me to say I've never you know qualified of uh, qualified for the qualifier, but I've never qualified. For the game in the there, qualifier. There's a handful of people that have actually done it, to be fair. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, um, anyways, uh, yeah, to, to go back to the, the previous, the, the meta discussion, I think I was mostly wrapped up where I had the uh, poisons really good in the no mech beast, then grease spot LP, Quobor really good if you can create just a big pile of gems. I, I guess the, the, the thing I wanted to say is that tier six feels a lot better now as well with the inclusion of Uther. Uh, it's just, it's almost never wrong to buy an Uther early ish because there's almost always something interesting you can do where you rolled into a Fall Reaper, you rolled into a Hydra, you rolled bad. into. Kekwait. <laughs> that, that, no, that's just me. Like, oh, tier six uh, is pretty good. Like, what's, 
Was it ever bad? You know? <laughs> right, right, yeah. But the amount yeah. of times you just like Uther magnetic and you're like, ooh, plus 15, plus 15. Right, that's, that's just good. Yeah, that's, that's cool. true. So, and, and just like cool things like Uther a Baron, sometimes even something like I Uthered a brand and now I can run it without, you know, feeling bad if my selfless goes on the brand or whatever. So, yeah, lots and uh, lots of stuff. If Quilbor Mechorin you really want to try the Beyond Six. It's, it just feels very good right now. And just even without Quillboard, just just the fact that Grease Spot is in you rolling into Grease Spot is so good. Yeah, it's it's true. It's it's very true. The 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 meta is strong, or like the the cards that are good in the meta are strong. And uh, if it it definitely feels like you can't play every composition, like every. Archetype isn't viable, if that makes sense. Like there are archetypes that are just better than others, and, and if you don't play them, then you're going to get punished. Um, yeah, that, for that, sure. That always feels like like a little bad, but I mean, it's hard to do that correctly. I would say so. We'll have to see, and 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 maybe in Lobby Legends you'll see like other players like really figuring out what they they think is extremely good. Yeah, it, it'll be also fun to see in that high pressure environment yeah. if there will be, because uh, we saw that during the Naga patch where people had less time and it was very, very obvious you had to go six. I also we think the players are more um, safe. Or, they're not me, right? <laughs> <laughs> no, I, like, the, the, my point was that during the, the Naga patch, we saw a lot of players who would normally be more conservative. We saw them go all out oh, for the right, yeah. It was so obvious, and the difference was so big. The boards were so large. Siren was still in. Siren was a three drop, I think, during that tournament. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. God, man, the the it was nutty, right? Like the the Naga boards, it was absolutely not okay. So the the question then for this uh, tournament will be. Um, a grease spot is obviously not as strong, right, as a pre-nerf uh, Naga with Siren. But will we see more uh, aggressive tiering, or will we see actually fairly few grease spots and way more, you know, tier four slowly? Maybe when you then have a triple on tier four, tier to five, and uh, go for the six drop like that. So that that'll be interesting to, to see if um, if players in in such a tournament environment where everyone is strong if they'll feel comfortable enough to you know it's very hard to go to six in a tournament lobby you yeah. know tripling into a six okay right but going to six in a tournament lobby like you gotta be you you better be high roll right hey, well not, no yeah. i mean you know i, I do that. <laughs> like, slow down, like maybe slow if down. you're bare off maybe you know but then you're high rolling already like yeah i think in a tournament lobby if you're actively just Going to six to then make your comp, you've been high rolling until that point. That's my, at least that's my intuition. What that's or you're crazy or your comments, and you just get away with it. Yeah, yeah. sure. Or sometimes you don't. Yeah, yeah it's part of part of the gamble. Yeah. All right, anyways, that, that's it. Just excited to see this weekend what the players are going to bring. All right, sounds good. We've uh, we've done that. It's actually been a really long stream, surprisingly. So, yeah. Uh, that shall be it, I believe, yeah. for us this week. Next week is going to be interesting. I have no promises on what that's going to look like. But, yeah, should be fun either way. And uh, thank you guys for watching. Feedback, AGG podcast at Gmail. Find us at Educate Collins and Shady Bunny. Twitter and Twitch. And we'll see you guys next week. Any any final thoughts, Shady? uh yeah i mean the next one collins will uh will do it irl guys next podcast is gonna be quite quite exciting podcast collins is gonna be here in belgium so that'll be uh it'll be super fun looking forward to that <laughs> all right sounds good to do.